Hello everybody, Grace Steel Blazer, we're back with more Landless. And that lovely saloon music means that we're near town, so, and I say town because there's a legitimate town now. So there was, I'm gonna stay inside my boat because I think there's pirates around here right now, just kinda hanging out. As you can see, I have a lovely, not a hammer, a lovely shotgun now that I found off of a scumbag, and we will use this to blow their brains out should they approach us in a disorderly fashion. So there was a huge update to the game, like a huge update to the game. They're changing everything. There's one thing I can say about this game is that the developer is like really, really on top of making all the updates. Um, there's been like three in the past three days or something like that. So what we got here is we have a city, a floating city of Leavenworth it's called. And we have all sorts of things. You can see over here, we have the... What does that say? Oh, the pasture. The pasture. Is this like a saloon or what in the hell is this? Can I even go inside? I don't know if all of this is even open yet or what because I think we're like really early in the morning right now. Now, I've gone through all of this, I believe, and looted it. So there shouldn't really be much else. Yeah, you can see there's nothing else in there at the moment. One of the things that's changed in the game is now when you get close to items, they auto prepare to loot, I guess I'll call it. Uh, meaning that like, all you have to do is just get close enough and it opens up the inventory, which is quite nice. Looks like there's something else over here. There's like a tarp over here. Some other things I've learned about is you can form your own floating buildings. Yeah, you can see right here, this is going to be something. I think they're developing this. Like it's not something yet, that's what the tarp is over it, but it's gonna be something. And this, I assume, is our merchant of merchantly goodness. I guess? Can I trade with you or do anything unusual? I guess not. Is that like a scale or something? I think that's what that is. All right, well, like I said, I'm, I, pretty much, I pretty much jacked everything I could out of here because as is the Skyrim way, we don't... We don't really have to worry about uh, taking everything we can so, I restarted the game just because things have changed a little bit. That computer doesn't do anything yet, by the way. It looks cool, but I can't, like, get it to work or anything like that. Um, so I wanted to start over again just because we hadn't really gotten that far or anything like that. And plus, now destroying those buoys actually does drop a black box. So we're probably going to want to see that. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit of food and water here. Because we are pretty beat on both. I'm not like super worried about our food and water. Because getting the water is fairly easy. Now that I know about the rain bottles. And getting the food should be fairly easy now that I know how to fish. Oh, in case you've never seen fishing in this game, it's very simplistic. Toss the old pole out. And then we just have to watch and ho! Pull it just the right time and you get yourself a raw fish. There you go. Like a little mini game, I guess. Go ahead and throw this, uh, well you could, you could cook it if you want, but for right now I'm just gonna put it in storage. You can see I've got all kinds of stuff in storage right now, planks of wood, um, scrap metal. There's a lot of stuff in this game that you can build. I haven't really like built any of it yet, I just wanna kinda get places first, and then maybe we'll figure out what we wanna build. So first things first, let's go back over here to the boat, pull on out of the city of cities, known as Leavenworth. And we will head over to the next buoy. Well, the, the first buoy, I guess. What would be the second buoy if I was continuing the game previous. But in this gameplay, it is just going to be the first buoy. Now, I remember how this goes. You remember our little buddy there, um, our mentor, if you will, and co-conspirator is going to talk to us in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward past that. It's the exact same thing that we heard in the first one. So it shouldn't really be a big deal. And the, the music of power. Oh, God. Oh, and it pauses now when he talks. That's kind of nice. All right. He's told us what's what. We've got our crowbar over here in uh, number two. And we'll go ahead and abuse the crap out of that and beat this buoy up. Let me go ahead and pull right up next to this thing. Right up next to it. Right like that. All right. Now, I imagine there's going to be some schmucks coming in now and again. Let me see, go ahead and see if I can get right over. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Jump. There we go. Good. Good job. This girl knows how it is, man. Like I said, we are a girl. Um, you, you can kind of see your character. Like, every once in a while, I don't think you're supposed to see your character, but sometimes the way the camera moves, you can see her. 
Uh, but the way that we knew that is because I guess the captain was going to make us his queen. Little, that was a little creepy actually. So if I ever get the chance, I'm going to be blasticating him, not in the sexual manner, but in the shotgun manner. Because I do have plenty of bullets. Go down. Go down, you scumbag. There we go. Incoming transmission. Yes, we're going to save the world. Things are going to happen. There's a wire uploading some stuff. And there's Captain Wastebeard. He's a scumbag because he just killed our buddy. And we will hunt him down one way or the other. Look at the shark as it bounds gracefully over the water. And down goes the buoy. Down goes the buoy. Can't use while in the water. Oh, I think all we can use is melee weapon. Whoa, hi. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that thing bounce? Um, yes. There's the black box, man. All right, let's go ahead and head back into it. Now, the one thing I noticed, too, and some of my buddies that were going to try and play the game. Um, oh, hi there, Alyssa. Is anyone picking this up? I need help. A shark took my baby. A blue marker leading to the contract turn-in will appear on the minimap after killing one shark. Press L. How do you... What? I mean, like, did it kidnap it or did it eat it? Because I'm not sure us beating a shark up, a shark up is going to save your child, ma'am. Um, the black box. It's a quest item. Not droppable, not sellable. Okay, so there, we can't do that. The one thing that we can do, though, is get rid of some of this extra wood and stuff. Um, some of it seems to be stacking appropriately. I think it's because if it has enough to go into, like, I think it caps out at 200 or something. Maybe that's what it is. Like, if we put these bullets here, all the bullets cap out at a lot more. Holy crap, do we have rifle ammo. We don't have any rifles, but damn it, we've got plenty of rifle ammo. Oh, you guys were telling me, too. The name of the Jaws boat is the Orca. That's it, the Orca. For some reason, I thought it was, like, you know, the like the Queen Elizabeth or something. I don't know why. I just thought maybe it was named after a woman. Oh, sweet, the sun's coming up. Oh, and it is going to be a beautiful day. You remember the saying that every kid hears from their dad, right? What is it? Uh, red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in morning, sailor take warning. Isn't that one of those things that, like, every single child in the universe hears? I think that we... I think I see some, some sharks over here, boys. Yep, right here. Man, the... Wow, holy Jesus. Okay, all right, sharks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. The sharks are pushing my boat so hard. Ugh. Ah. Suck on that. Wow, this shotgun is glorious. Yes. Listen to the listen to the music of success. Hold on, let's go ahead and put this guy on the boat. Give me your meat, you scumbag. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Boom! Right there. Man, have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Do I have my axe equipped? Where's my axe? Right over here. There we go. That's what I want. Button number one, eh? All right, sharky sharkkins, your ass is mine. Someone was saying that uh, the shark gave shark uh, raw fish, not raw fins. Yeah, I don't know. What I thought it was like raw fins, like shark fins. I was like, oh, shark fins, yay! But instead, we cut up the we cut up the shark, and we get this sad, depressed looking fish. So we completed the quest. Um, good for us, I guess. Now we get to go toward the beacon and turn this in. I don't know like if we get money or whale oil or what. I don't even know where the it looks like the beacon's back at town. So I guess we'll start heading that way. Oh, right here it tells you what you get. Holy crap. Is that a thousand whale oil? And 200 sulfur? And 25 biofuel? And five something? Five med kits? I don't know what that is. All I can say is that, damn it, that's well worth it. If we're getting a thousand bio, or, um, a thousand whale oil from that. Here we are, back at the beautiful city of Leavenworth. I didn't name it. I didn't name it, folks. All right, let me go ahead and get right up here. Look at that. Gray still backs up boats. All right. Kind of jump. All right, let me... Right, uh, uh, there we go. And, oh, we have a quest marker over her. Look at this lady. This... Shapely lass. Oh, I forgot I left my baby at a neighbor's. <laughs> you ho! 
I'm out there blasting sharks with shotguns, and you sent me on a wild goose chase? Here, take this as a compensation. You're pretty good with this contracting stuff. You can go up to your boat radio and take more contracts now. Oh, click on the flashing book. I'll go to your notifications under help in the escape menu to learn more about accepting and ignoring contracts. Wow, well, thanks, I guess. I feel so gypped right now. You boys don't even know. Like, <laughs> like, I I expected, like, to cut open the shark and have a baby plop out. Like, an entire child just in, in... What the hell was that? Oh, it's because I'm hungry. I was gonna say, just like, it, like, in perfect condition. Like, the whole child is just totally fine. All right, let's go ahead and eat real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and drink a couple times right there. We should have plenty of rainwater, I'm fairly certain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of rainwater. All right, so now we have some medical kits. We have a ton, a ton of sulfur. I'm assuming, yeah, 200 seems to be the stack. Um, and we have a ton of biofuel, too. We have this black box, too. I don't know... Oh, save these to gain tech points later. All right, well, fine. Maybe tech points is like what we use, like maybe we spend them to learn uh, new crafting things or something like that. Let's see if there's anything we can craft right now. Oh my God, this stuff takes a lot of things, like wires and stuff like that. Now you can make all this. All right, Dev, you ready? Here's my suggestion. If I click on metal frames or pipes or wires, I would love for it to automatically transport me to that item because I would hate having to go to this having to make this stuff, then go back and, like, finding out what else I need. I mean, I guess you could, um... Ooh, a storage chest. Can be placed on a floating platform. Oh, yeah, you can make a floating platform to start your little, like, floating house and stuff like that. But anyway, I would hate to have to watch what I'm making and, like, go back to it over and over and over again. What a pain in the nuts. All right, boys, let's head out. See what we can find. Into the procedurally generated world we go. Where the hell's the sun so I know which way I'm driving? Oh, it's like directly overhead. Great. It's like high noon. So I'm not going to have any idea where I'm driving. Straight ahead it is. I'm sure we'll run into something eventually. Ooh, I think it tells us on our map where, uh, where the town is. That's really good. So at least we can always find our way back to town. So let's keep heading due, um, away from the town. I don't I don't even know if we have any cardinal directions right now that we can use. If I could see where the sun was rising and setting, I'd be able to Oh, hi there, random buoy. Um, is there anything I Oh crap, hold on. Yeah, I know I know what you do. I know what you do. It's are you hooked? Holy crap! Ow! Am I getting shot at by a hydro turret? Look, there's a hydro turret shooting at me. Shooting at me or my hull? I, I really don't know. I think it's shooting at me. It's definitely shooting at me. Um, can I blow this thing up? Yeah, there we go. Screw you, hydro turret. Ah, ah. There we go. Hydro turret down. We took quite a bit of, uh... Oh, we, we didn't take any damage. And our hull is totally fine. That's odd. Ah, oh, whatever. Hull's totally fine. We got some delicious shark over here that uh, we'll be throwing up. Throwing up on the back of the boat in just a second. Hold on now. Go ahead and swing the old rear end around right like this. Look at how sad that shark looks. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna keep the shark with us. Now everyone knows not to screw with us. We got a freaking shark hanging from the back of the boat that I killed with a shotgun. All right, do not mess with us. Do not mess with Gray, the great white hunter. What is this? Ow! Good gravy. Freaking hydro thingies. Tired of this crap. Where's my... Where'd my, there it is. Stop it. Ugh. There we go. Man, it's like everything on this place wants to kill us. All right, we got a floating something in the distance, boys. Let's find out what it could be. Be ye friend or foe. I have a shotgun with your name on it. If you dare discredit my authority on these seas. My authority on these seas is absolute. Just like my vodka. All right, let's go check this out right over here. Oh, we get the saloon again. It must be a trader or something. Hold on. Where's the, uh, where's the front door? Right over here. Right over here. Hold on. What the hell? Oh, we got another buddy. Man, these sharks hate us. Uh, uh. You done? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, Shark Ecclesi. Well, I had to jack your other buddy. Man, the sharks are getting bigger, I think. They look that way to you boys. Hold on. 
Let me go ahead and crap. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that dead shark right there. Do you know that there's a shark under this pier? There's a shark under this pier down there. Look at it. It's right there. I don't know if it can attack me through the flip. Whoa! Apparently there's all kinds of sharks right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk around here real quick. Take all. There we are. Is it pushing this thing? Okay, good. It's not. Because we got some good items up in here. Some good lootable items. Oh, yeah. More Cthulhu. Get me all the Cthulhu. We're gonna need that. I'm gonna build something to take you scumbag sharks out. I swear it. Um, grab some of this. More rifle ammo, too. Can I trade with you or anything? Do you care about this good, sir? Can I, like, wow. I can, like, freaking football check this guy like nobody's been. Can I throw you outside of the building? Oh, almost, almost. Can almost put it. Hold on. I need to check something. Right this way, Captain Ahab. Right this way. I want to see what happens. Right this way. Oh, oh, low bridge. Low bridge now. Come on. Get down this. Oh, you can't. I could probably do it if I was really trying. But... I wonder if I could shoot this thing through the floor. Hold on. Because it is like right... Yep, right there. Look. There we go. Think we got it. Pretty sure we got it. I really don't feel like having a shark sitting right next to my boat while I'm in the water like this. Excuse me, other shark. Let me go ahead and push your ass out of the way. There we go. Got another floating raft out here. Not sure what this one is. By the way, got another shark on the back of the boat. Man, I've been catching sharks left and right. They're going to call me Shark Slayer the Mighty. I don't know how much weight the shark gives our boat. Now, this looks like a trading post. So maybe I can sell all this freaking Cthulhu. Let's go check this out real quick. Should have some items over here real fast. Let's go check out storage. Uh, yep, got some extra Cthulhu. We'll go ahead and grab that real fast. Maybe we can go ahead and uh, get some cash for it over here. Hello there, sir. How are you? Would you, would you mind trading? Would you, what is this? Oh, we're tired. All right, let's see here. I'd like to sell all of this because I don't feel like getting addicted to something called Cthulhu. Whale oil, if you please, my good sir. What else can we sell? We could sell some fish and stuff if we wanted to. What sort of things do you have on you? Floors, doorways, stairs, windows. Well, that's nice. Just doing a little bit of crafting here. Thought I would make a floating platform. Just to see what it does, to see if we can get like a little floating house going or something like that. There's a lot of like decorative stuff you can do too. I'm kind of curious to get involved in it because everyone else's floating houses sucks. They've got like some boxes, a floor, a roof, and that's it. Now I'm not the best at making housing structures, but damn it, I think I can do better than these guys. What else do we need over here now? I have a lot of stuff. Um, I should have almost everything. Basic barrels. Basic barrels. Can I? Okay, so where do we get basic barrels from? I'm assuming that's around here somewhere. Smart barrels. I want smart barrels. Basic barrels. Oh my god. We need wires and pipes and brackets and crap. All right, I've been crafting for a while, but we need more metal. Um, our guy act over here might actually have some on him. I'm not really sure. Sir, do you happen to have any metal? I'm just looking for average metal, not scrap wood. The crappy met scrap metal. There we go. Ooh, he does. Um, yeah, I'd like to buy some. Can I buy like a hundred of them from you? Crafting simulator, go! I should have enough after this to build. I'm hoping the um the floating the floating platform, which is the entire reason I've been doing this. Uh, you have no idea. I'm gonna cut a lot of this out, but I've been doing this for a while. All right, we got our four barrels over here. We should be able to do. The floating platform now. Oh god, we can. Alright, here we go. Floating platform. Activate the crane to place. Use for building a boathouse. So now, like, does our boathouse just, like, sit here or do we tow it around with us? I hope we get to tow it around with us. Alright. Floating pat platform over there. Activate the crane to place. Alright, let's give it a shot. That's what I'm doing this for, boys. I have no idea how a lot of this works, so we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Activate crap. Whoa! Hi! Yep. That's a floating platform, all right. So... Requires floating... Well, I have a floating pla... So... Like, is this permanently out here next to this dude now? Like, this is our little spot? Can I hook it up or anything? Does it get towed with us? I know I could put a storage chest on it. Which is the entire reason I got it. Hold on, let me get the hell out of here real quick. 
All right, here we go. Storage chest, baby. Oh, how I've longed for a storage chest. You run out of inventory in this game very, very quickly. I'm kind of wondering if you can upgrade your boat to get better inventory. That would be fantastic if you could. Yes. All right, place on a platform. So I guess, what do you put it in here like this? This is just, I'm guessing here. So put it in here, jump over to our floating platform. Okay, I'll jump under my floating platform real quick. Is there any way onto the platform once you're in the water? Doesn't look like there is. Let's go ahead and put this thing down here. I'm just going to put it over here so that I have some spots to put uh, walls and such. So now, how do you use it? Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, the storage is real. Okay, good. So now you have a place for extra storage. I kind of like that. This is weird. It's almost like there's like hidden walls where you can't fall off. I mean, appreciate that you can't fall off every two seconds. But, uh, all right, so now that we're all done with that, how's our storage looking over here? Pretty craptastic. I'm actually going to grab all this, I think, for right now. I'm going to grab this pistol ammo and this gun. Our shotgun's doing just fine for right now. I'm going to put all this over there. Um, and the first aid kit can stay over there. That should be just fine. Again, I have no idea if we're going to lose all this or whatever, but... That's what, that's, I, did, I at least want to try, really, I at least want to try it and see what happens. All right, very good. We've got our little platform. Again, I don't know if I'm going to lose this or what. It doesn't look like there is a symbol that shows me where it is. Um, so I guess we'll just have to remember, well, there's kind of something over there. Yeah, there's like a little brown, like, coloration that kind of said it was over there. But mostly we'll just have to remember it. Out into the world we go. We need much more loot. I think we have a shark on us right now that's all pissed off. Yep. Look at how fast these damn sharks are. Look at how easily they can keep up with our boat. This shark over here. All right, shark. All right. You know, if this, if that's how it's got to be, that's how it's got to be. They call me Shotgun the Mighty right over here. Two shots and a shark is down. Oh, we got the shark's brethren. Shark's brother's all pissed off. Holy crap, it's a trio of sharks. Well, it's four sharks. Oh. How many sharks are there? There's five sharks. Holy Jesus. Okay, you, you're down. There we go. Let me reload. There's too many sharks. Ah, there's one shark pushing another shark into me in Sharkception. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, the water is littered with dead sharks. Literally littered with dead sharks. Oh my god. We're not gonna have to worry about food forever because I've killed so many sharks at this point. This is ridiculous. Like, the amount of sharks in this game. Like, are there this many sharks in the world? Like, so concentrated? It's a water world. They should have so much more area to run around in, shouldn't they? All right, hold on. I can't, I can't leave all this good meat out there, right? This is, this is a ton of meat just laying around. Uh, uh. I think there was something else out there, too. God, is that an orca or a shark? If it's an orca, I would love to blasticate that poor sap because that gives us nice amounts of whale oil. I love how happy the music in this game is. It's like, it's like you're out there fighting for your life, blasting sharks with shotguns and stuff. And the music's like, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. all right. Now, I think this may have been a whale. I'm not sure. I can't see. Yeah, right over here. Yep, that is a whale right there. That is a whale. And we want, oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. I don't know if you're vicious or what, but you've got whale oil on you, and I could always use it. Hold on. Let me go ahead and load this thing nice and high. All right. <clears throat> There we go. Two shots, whale is down. I wonder if that'd be true. Like two shots from a shotgun. I guess like maybe 12 gauge or something like that. I don't really know what kind we're using. But two shots, would that down a whale? Oh, how much whale oil do we have? Okay, so 1325. And this gets us 1815. So almost 500 whale oil for shooting that. Well, sh yeah, literally shooting. For shooting down whales. All right, so let's check out some of these radio contacts. They give us, oh God, look at all weapons and shot, oh, 163 shotgun shells. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I like that one. Eliminate 29 birds? You sicko. I'll accept it. 
Oh, why not? Why not? Let us not forget our original mission, though. To find the buoys and harvest the black boxes. Now, we finally have the very beginnings to our own floating home, which I'm very happy about. But there's more that we need to do. We need walls. We need furniture. We need to make it bigger. I really want to make it bigger. Like, I want to make it, like, big. Also, now that I know that you can't move it once you make it, well, I don't think you can. Like, we'll try and push it with our boat, maybe, or something like that. I would have put it, like, right next to Le uh, Leavenworth or whatever it's called. Because this way, we would have been able to sell and do all that stuff, like, really easy. Oh, we got one, boys. This is what we're looking for. Right over here. Another one of those damnable buoys. Yeah. And the music begins to play. I imagine as pirates begin to lock in on our position. Bring it on, pirates. What the hell is that over there? Is that a friggin' submarine or something? Hold on. I've been getting... Wow, look at that! You gotta be kidding me! And we're dealing with sharks? Screw you. There. Whoa. I'm getting... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Blam! Where are you going there? Where are you going there, partner? You think you can escape the wrath? You must be crazy. What is that giant ass boat out there? All right, well, whatever. Let's take this thing down because remember, the pirates don't stop coming until we finished it off. Uh, uh, uh. And to finish it off, I have to beat the living tar out of it with this freaking crowbar. We got another scumbag inbound. Oh, let me go ahead and hide over here. There we go. If I kind of, I can see them on my uh, mini map. They're right on the other side of the buoy right now. But if I can maneuver correctly, we don't have to deal with them until I take this damn thing down. And then we can grab our shotgun and nuke the crap out of them. There we go. Go ahead, get this. Jump back on the boat. Look at that jump right there, baby. Hold on. Ah. Nope. None for you. From what? Oh, I missed. Oh, I did miss. Oh, man, I was trying to hit him from way downtown. That's right. We'll deal with him later. Where's our, uh, wasn't there a, a, another, hold on, let me get in here real quick. We've got a freaking shark laying around over here. Out of the way, shark. Can I push you? I'm like right in this thing's jaws. Feels like a bad place to be in. Let's go ahead and grab the, uh, the box and there have you over here. Uh, go ahead and grab all that. And there's the box. There's the box. And we got a bunch of scrap. And there have you. And also the black box as always. We are running very, very low on shotgun shells. I didn't expect that I would use them quite this quickly. But, I guess them's the breaks. So now we have another, let me go over here to storage. Now we've got another black box. Oh, they stack, thank you God. All right, that's so good. More Cthulhu as well. We got a ton of fuel, which I'm pretty happy about. A lot of raw meat, a lot of raw fish. A lot of raw fish. Um, let me go ahead and put this on us so that we have food. Cause I don't have a ton of food on me right now. And yeah, boom. All right. Well, we've got two black boxes now. I just need to figure out what the hell to do with them. I'm sure we turned them in somewhere over here. I think that's going to be it for now, though, boys. That is another one of those buoys down. We have slaughtered just like dozens of sharks at this point. Like there, I don't even know how there's sharks left to spawn more sharks. I've, I've literally destroyed so many sharks. They should fear the boat. Whatever we want to call this boat. I'm not sure what we're naming this thing yet. That other thing was awesome. I don't know what the hell that other boat was, but that thing was cool. I want to pilot that. Whatever that thing was. And we have the very beginnings to our own houseboat that hopefully we can decorate. It's got that raft feeling now, baby. We're starting to get to that point. Only the crafting is like very, very cumbersome in this game. So, Dev, what I would like to see, if at all possible, is this old school way of thinking where you have to create pipes and brackets and solar panels and you got to do like 400 of them before you can make like a, an antenna. Click on the antenna and if the rest of the stuff is in your inventory, just have it make all this random crap. Because, oh God, to have to sit there and either type that out or do whatever, um, it's just kind of annoying. What do you guys think? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for this game, let me know that too, because I may get in contact with the developer and let them know, because they are super, super 
um, like on the ball with listening to the community and updating this game. And I think this could be a really good game. Like it's early access, super early access. So it's not fleshed out enough, obviously. But I think that there could be a lot of cool stuff that could be done in this kind of setting. Anyway, folks, until next time, stay foxy and much love.